This is part 119 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the unpivot operator in SQL Server. Pivot operator turns rows into columns, whereas the unpivot operator turns columns into rows. We discussed pivot operator in detail in part 53 of this video series. In this video, we'll discuss the unpivot operator. Let's understand this unpivot operator with an example. So we have a table on the left here. We have two sales agents, David and John, selling in three different countries, India, US, and UK. At the intersection of the sales agent name and the country name, we have the sales amount made by that sales agent in that respective country. So we want to represent this data on the left like the data on the right that you see here. So essentially what we are doing here is turning these three columns, India, US, and UK, these three country columns, into rows in our result set. And how could we do that? The easiest way to achieve this is by using the unpivot operator. What does unpivot operator do? It will turn columns, that is these three columns, India, US, and UK, into rows within our result set. So notice here, within the table on the left, David made a sale of 960 within India. And the way we want to represent that in our result set is, we have the sales agent name, we have the country name, and then we have the sales amount he made. So for David, there are three rows, India, US, UK. Similarly for John, there are three rows now, India, US, UK. So let's see how to achieve this using the unpivot operator. Now, what are the columns that we want in our result set? We want sales agent, country, and sales amount. So, sales agent, country, and sales amount. Now, the interesting thing to keep in mind here is that within this TBL product sales table, so this is the table. Now, do we have country and sales amount columns? No, we don't. All the columns that we have here is we have sales agent and the other columns are India, US, UK. We don't have country and sales amount columns. Well, where are we going to get them from then? We're going to get them from the unpivot operator. So this unpivot operator is going to generate those columns for us. So I'm going to use the unpivot operator. Now, what do we want to retrieve? We want to retrieve the sales amount that we see at the intersection of the sales agent name and country name. So sales amount for, now we want to unpivot the country column, right? So I'm going to call this country. Okay, each country we want to unpivot it. So I'm going to call it country in what are the three country columns that we have? India, US, UK. So four country in India, US, UK. And let's give this an alias. Let's call this unpivot example. Okay? All right, so let's execute this and see what we get. Look at that, now we get the result that we expect, you know, that we see on the slide right here. Now. If you look at these two columns, country and sales amount, where are they coming from? They're coming from the unpivot operator. So whatever we specified here, sales amount, that is going to be one column within our result set, and country is going to be another column. Now, the does these name have to be sales amount and country? Not necessarily. You can give them any names you want. For example, I can say sales amount as ABC, but the moment I do that, you know, we will not have sales amount available for the select list here. So you want to call it ABC instead of sales amount. And similarly, I can change this to maybe XYZ. If I do that, then I have to change the name within the select list as well. So this is going to be XYZ. Now when we execute this, the column name for countries will be XYZ. For the sales amount, it will be ABC. So pretty straightforward unpivot operator. Extremely useful if you want to turn columns into rows. Thank you for listening and have a great day.